Good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, wherever you are throughout this wonderful, beautiful world. I'd like to uh, welcome you to COVID-19 Storytime with Rob for another episode of Short Story. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, I'm, I'm taking this one from uh, uh, Paul Harvey, uh, Rest of the Story uh, book that I love, and I was thinking of when he used to broadcast these on the radio it was so much fun i remember one time we were driving and we had to pull into a, a gas station as many years ago obviously but uh i remember he had started the broadcast and we all pulled into the gas station and i looked at my dad and i looked at my mom and nobody got out of the car we're like mm, are we getting gas and we're like I'm not getting out till this is over because it wasn't like you could just hit replay or rewind. So we all stayed in the car until the rest of the story was completed and then we got out and got the fuel. So anyway, I wanted to share this story with you. This one is called Snowman. It was obvious that the big gray horse entering center ring was not a thoroughbred. But as the spotlight followed him, there was a moment of hushed silence. Accompanied by a young man, his wife, and their five children, the steed at last turned to face the crowd. That's when it happened. First, distant ripples of applause. Then, 13,000 spectators standing, cheering. This was Madison Square Garden, November 1959. The National Horse Show. And if the big gray horse in center ring was an unlikely champion, there was a reason for that. Harry DeLoyer, raised on a net in Netherlands farm, he married his childhood sweetheart, and together they crossed the Atlantic Ocean, sought out a new home in America. With only $160 between them, Harry and his new bride first tried tobacco farming in North Carolina. Then they worked on a horse farm in Pennsylvania. Harry particularly loved horses. Finally, he landed the job riding master at Knox School for Girls on Long Island. And that's where the story begins. It was a wintry Tuesday in February when Harry returned from the horse auction. The entire Delire family came out to greet him to see what Harry had chosen for the riding stables. When the van door opened, out came a mammoth great, a gray Y horse. Slowly, he descended the ramp, stood silent in ankle deep, freshly fallen snow. One of the children tugged at his mother's woolen coat. He looks like a snowman. Snowman, it was a perfect name. But the great gray horse just stood quietly, blinking in the bright winter sun, as though Harry and he shared some secret that made all the difference in the world. Snowman was trained well that season, and he was a good riding horse, but when school closed for the summer, a neighbor offered to buy him, offered to pay twice what Harry had paid. Reluctantly, Harry agreed. After all, he was in the horse business. He couldn't allow sentiment to enter into it. As the days passed, Harry began to regret his sale, and apparently so did Snowman. That was when the gray gelding's hidden talent showed up. Along with the horse himself, the neighbor's fences were high, very high, but somehow Snowman escaped again and again and again, jumping the neighbor's fence to be reunited with his master and with the family that he loved. One day, the reunion became permanent. Harry bought the horse back, and the rest is in the record books. Winner at the Sands Point Horse Show in Long Island. Winner at the Fairfield Horse Show in Lakeville. More and more championships and important shows until the ultimate dream, the National at Madison Square Garden. Snowman would be Horse of the Year 
two years running. But not because he ran. Snowman was a jumper, and no one would have known were it not for the neighbor's fence that separated the grateful animal from the master who missed him. And Snowman had reason to be grateful. You see, Harry arrived late at the auction that first day that they'd met. All the best horses had long been sold. Harry and his horse shared a common destiny, and they shared a secret also, a secret that Harry had first somehow recognized through bony ribs and matted mane and sore scarred legs. For that great gild, gray gelding that became the indomitable snowman had been rescued that day from the only other bidder who had intended to purchase him for the glue factory. And now you know the rest of the story. Hope you enjoy that as much as I did sharing with you. Please if you like them, just copy and paste and send it out to your friends or family or any other loved one you may know or somebody who's uh, stuck in their house. Until tomorrow, be safe.